understanding of all the technical students. Just to, so you know what the criteria is, you must be a senior, you got that. You must have maintained a positive class and school citizenship. You must have a 95% attendance rate. You must have at least a B plus in your technical grade point average. And must have an overall B average for all your courses. <laughs> But before I present the award, I'd like to tell the audience a little bit about Milton Mathutis and who Milton Mathutis was. Milton Mathutis is the son of Greek immigrants. He was born and raised in southeast Baltimore County and graduated from the University of Maryland. He taught in Baltimore County public schools for 15 years. He was a graphic arts and printing teacher. He became supervisor of vocational and industrial education for Harford County Public Schools in 1966. And he served in that role until his retirement in 1982. In 1976, we broke ground right here, pretty close to this spot for the then Harford Vocational Technical High School which was to be a full four-year technical school, comprehensive in nature, supporting both academic and vocational education. It took until about 1991 to phase in all four years of Harford Technical High School. Milton Mathutis was a part of all of that until his untimely death in 1986. At that time, he was also serving as the chair of the Harford County Citizens Advisory Committee on Vocational Technical Education. Now, Milton Mathutis was a very quiet man. I was kind of <laughs> more vocal kind of guy, I'll say it that way. But we both supported and strongly supported that this school had everything and allowed the students to enjoy every part of their high school education. And for the last several years, I've been sitting here watching you and many graduates receive your awards. And all I can think about is you guys make the dream come true. Milton Thudis was a strong advocate, and he believed that the school should support strong academics and that vocational students could possess strong academic skills as well as vocational skills. You know today that your jobs require you to have as strong academic skills as your trade skills. The recipient today possesses those skills. I would like to ask Liam Jens to come down. So Liam, I'm very proud of you. I'm sure you know, 